Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a bit of a special video. This one is for the 10k challenge winner. And here is the story pitching entry that inspired this video, submitted by the lovely Manya. Stay tuned at the end of the video for the 10 runner-ups, aka 10 other plots that I loved. And thank you all for your submissions because I had such a blast reading them. Alright, without further ado, enjoy the show. In which a love letter and an overheard conversation pushed two people together. Private message Yamaguchi and Yachi pulsate in heart. Hi did you leave your math notebook in the classroom at practice today? I don't think so let me check. Okay I checked and no mine's in my bag. Really huh? It has your name on it. Oh wait it says Tsukishima K on the front cover never mind. Question mark. It has my name on it though. Um. Don't worry about it. Okay. What should we do? I would drop it off at his house but I don't know where he lives and I feel like it might be weird. Oh I can bring it over. I live pretty close to him after all. Okay sounds good I'll just leave it in the club room then. Cool I'm still at school so I'll come round and grab it. Okay. 15 minutes later. In real life. Yamaguchi walked up the stairs to Tsukishima's front porch, notebook clutched in his hand. He knocked on the door lightly and tested the handle. Tsuki? Anyone? He must be in his room. Yamaguchi slipped his shoes off and walked into the house. Tsuki, I brought your notebook. As Yamaguchi walked closer to the door of Tsukishima's room, the sound of heated arguing got louder. Huh. He stopped moving and listened carefully. You don't understand can't. Wow, Tsuki rarely sounds this agitated. Come don't give me that deserves it. Deserves it deserves what? Yamaguchi crept a little closer. Deserve better than someone like me. Who is he talking about? Okay, you're just making things harder for yourself, you know. Have you even talked to him about any of this? I don't have to. I know he doesn't feel the same way. No you don't. How the hell would you know? You don't understand what's at risk here. But you're being selfish, okay? Don't you think he deserves to know that you like him? Tsuki, likes someone? Dot dot dot. It's not fair to like him and never tell him. It's like lying to him. Ouch that hits home. But I can't tell Tsuki that I like him, especially since he has this other person No. Whatever. You know me. I'm too much of a coward. You're too hard on yourself is what you are. Yeah anybody would be lucky to have Tsuki. You two are perfect for each other. I wish one of you would just make a move. Who is it I'm dying to know? Don't get my hopes up. The faster I can move on from this the better. Ha, huh? good luck with moving on when you've failed for so long. If you really wanted to move on you'd stop talking to him. I still want to be friends though. Oh, so the person is a friend of Tsuki's, maybe it's one of his online friends. Whatever you say K. But I'm telling you, you're never going to be satisfied. Like this. Dot dot dot. Have fun being stubborn. I gotta write my papers. I never even asked you to come in here. You just barged in and started yelling at me. Yamaguchi held back a snort. Whatever K, I'm just being the best brother you could ever ask for. Right so, when do you go back to college again? So mean. There's the sounds of footsteps, and Yamaguchi bolted from his position behind the door. He made it down the hall before turning around and heading back the same way, pretending like he had just walked in. The door creaked open and Akitaru stepped out. Oh Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi had no idea why Akitaru was screaming so loudly. Oh oh h hi, Akitaru haven't seen you in a while. Also I just got here. Ah okay. It's nice to see you too. K is in his room. Yeah, I know. Huh. I mean. Why yeah, haha <laughs> where else would he be ahaha. <laughs> Yamaguchi, get a grip. It's not like you did something illegal. You ha. Huh? Anyways, I'm gonna go. Alright, see ya. Akitaru brushed past him and Yamaguchi let out a huge sigh of relief. He stood there for a few seconds longer before gulping and stepping into Tsukishima's room. H hey, Saki. <laughs> Thank you.
Tsukishima's eyes snapped up to meet his and he jumped. Yamaguchi. Hiya. Are you okay? You're even more pale than usual. I am fine. When did you get here? Ah. Uh, just now. Why do you sound so uncertain about that? I don't know. Nothing. Ah. Uh, Tsukishima peered at him for a few seconds longer before shaking his head. Anyway. Ah. Uh, why are you here? Oh right. Ah. Uh, here. He handed the notebook over to Tsukishima. Yachi found it. And she thought it was mine because apparently my name was in it but then she saw your name and. Aha you don't care. Here. Tsukishima had gotten even paler as Yamaguchi spoke, and Yamaguchi frowned. T thanks. Are you okay really? You look like you're gonna pass out. Ah. Uh, no. I. Did you see that page with your name on it? Huh. No I forgot about that part to be honest. Tsukishima muttered something that sounded like thank god, but Yamaguchi didn't know why he'd be grateful for that. I figured it was just a worksheet you helped me do or something. Why? Ah. Uh, no reason. What is it? Nothing it's nothing. Come on, now I'm curious. It's just, ah. Uh. Yamaguchi waited patiently, watching curiously as Tsukishima turned slightly red. Look, can you just drop it? Yamaguchi flinched. Oh sure, Saki. Sorry. No, wait, it's fine I just... Can't really talk about it. Okay. A few seconds of silence passed. So, whatcha doing? Tsukishima tilted his computer screen and Yamaguchi saw that he was in a voice call. Oh. Write the person he likes, maybe it's one of them. Then I'll just go, I wouldn't want to disturb anything. Tsukishima scoffed. As if, don't worry about them Yamaguchi. I'm muted anyway, see? I'm okay well I mean I just came over to drop off your notebook so. You can't stay? Ah. Uh, do you want me to? I mean why no? Oh. I thought you'd wanna. Talk with them or something. Yamaguchi, you're being weird. Direct as always. You're my best friend and they're just some internet people. You know that. I I guess. Come on, did you bring your stuff? Yeah I brought my backpack at least. Okay cool. The two pulled out their homework and settled into a casual conversation. So, Akitaru's home. Yeah. Annoying and meddlesome as always. Haha <laughs> come on Tsuki. He just cares about you. Yeah I know. He's got enough of his own problems though. Hmm. I mean, college. College is busy enough. He doesn't have to come home every single couple of weeks. Seriously you don't miss him. Yamaguchi, come on. Lumeo okay maybe you wouldn't miss someone so easily. Well, depends on the person. Hmm who would you miss if you didn't see them every few weeks? Ah, uh, you can't guess. Huh, I mean I would have guessed your brother, Saki. Dot dot dot. What about you, you idiot? Huh, me? Oh, you would. Why would I? We're together all the time. Be but. Akitaru is your brother. Yeah I'm sick of him. But not me. Tsukishima leveled a scary glare at him and Yamaguchi squeaked. Oh okay. I would miss you too. TCH. You'd miss everyone. You'd even miss the king if he was gone for too long. You're so mean to Kagiyama. Tsukishima just shrugged. And okay fine. But I'd miss you more, obviously. Tsukishima coughed. Okay, Yamaguchi. Tsukishima turned back to his homework, but Yamaguchi's head was spinning. I like him so much, god, this is bad. Yamaguchi decided to text Hinata about it, needing to vent to someone. Private message Yamaguchi and tiny giant number 2. Hinata. Help. Yamaguchi are you okay? Yeah yeah. Wait no. No. I'm suffering. What why? Ah. Saki is being nice. Dot dot dot. So. I can't handle it. Of course this is about Tsukishima. Sad Yamaguchi face. What did he do this time? Nothing much. I just. Did you know he liked someone? Tsukishima doesn't talk to me Yamaguchi. If you didn't know then I didn't know. Well he does. And I don't know who it is. What if it's you? Yamaguchi choked. Yamaguchi? You okay? Ah. Uh, yeah. Dot dot dot. Who are you texting? Ah. Uh, 
Hinata. Dot dot dot. Okay. Yamaguchi turned his attention back to his phone screen, fingers typing out a reply. No way. Why not? You guys are close. Just no way. He doesn't like me like that. I don't know but okay Yamaguchi. But just saying. Yachi told me that she saw a confession letter to you in Tsukishima's notebook today. Yamaguchi let out a strangled gasp. Before he could say anything back, the phone was snatched out of his hand. What the hell is he saying to you? Wait no Tsuki. Too late. Tsukishima's eyes scanned the screen, and Yamaguchi buried his head in his hands. Dot dot dot. Is this about me? Okay uh Hinata is probably just being weird ahaha <laughs> pretend you didn't see that. Dot dot dot. Um. What were you going to reply with? Huh. Tsukishima turned the phone towards Yamaguchi. What would you reply with? To Hinata? I. I don't know. I'll wait. Saki it's not a big deal. It is to me. Yamaguchi tries to calm himself down and stares at Tsukishima. It's not true is it? Tsukishima coughs. Yamaguchi you didn't answer my question yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. I. It it's true. Tsukishima glares at him. Not for the first time, Yamaguchi wishes Tsukishima could blush. But Tsukishima's face tells him nothing. Okay. Ah. Uh, here just give me the phone. And I'll show you what I respond with. Private message Yamaguchi and tiny giant number 2. Hello. Yamaguchi I. Where did you go? Sorry. Ah. Uh, Lolololol you went and screamed in your pillow didn't you? Tsukishima, reading over Yamaguchi's shoulder, casts him an amused glance. What the fuck? No I didn't. Ha ha ha. Anyway there's no way that's true. It is. You know Yachi. She doesn't lie. Well okay she can she just sucks at it. Trust me. No way I I. You know Tsuki. He would never do that. Okay I agree it's out of character. Tsukishima scoffs. But. Everyone acts crazy when they are in Louvre. Yamaguchi flinches and goes red. Tsukishima makes a weird noise from behind him and Yamaguchi glances at him. To Tsukishima. Sorry, Tsuki. Stop apologizing. Dot dot dot. Private message to tiny giant number two. Hinata why? He's literally no. But you want him to be. Yamaguchi smacks his phone face down on the ground as soon as Hinata's message comes through. Panic, fast and overwhelming, climbs up in his throat. Dot dot dot. Did you did you see that? One look at his face and Yamaguchi can tell that Tsukishima most definitely did see that. Why? Is it true? Ah. Uh, I. Yamaguchi is full on panicking now, his mind flying into overdrive. Is this how I tell him? After all these years, I'm not ready to lose him. I. Out of the blue, Tsukishima starts laughing. What the? Saki. This isn't funny. No. Not you. Just. Us. We're so stupid. What? Yamaguchi. Tsukishima shifts so he's in front of Yamaguchi and looks him dead in the eye. Yachi wasn't lying. What? I did. Write a letter to you. In my math notebook. Granted, I didn't plan on showing it to you ever. But. Yeah. Wait. Really? Yeah. And it. It was like. A romantic letter. Tsukishima rolls his eyes. You think I would waste my time writing you a friendship letter? I I don't know. I can't even imagine you writing a letter, period. Dot dot dot. So. So. You. Like me. Tsukishima puffs out a breath of air. Yeah. I have. For a while. Ah. Uh, wow. Tell him you like him too, idiot. And. You. I think Hinata already exposed me. Yamaguchi burrows his head in his hands. Partially to hide his red face and partially to hide his giant smile. Saki likes me. I want to hear it. From you though. Tsukishima grabs his hands and pulls them off his face. Okay. Um. I. Yes. I do. Tsukishima is smiling at him. You what? Saki seriously. Yes. Seriously? I fine. I like you. Okay. Okay. Good. Cool. PFF. It is cool. Tsukishima rolls his eyes again. So. 
when you were talking to Akitaru earlier. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, it was about me. I, yeah, it was about you. Wow, how could you think that? That you don't deserve me? Because I don't. No, that's wrong. It's the other way around. No, it's no. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. We really are stupid. Tsukishima laughs, a rare sound that always leaves Yamaguchi staring. So you were never going to tell me? Not never. Just no. Anytime soon. How come you changed your mind? I mean, your texts with Hinata convinced me to take the risk. Ha. Huh? What risk? Hinata exposed me. Tsukishima shrugged. Besides this isn't fair, you weren't going to tell me either. Yeah cause. You're so. You. And I'm just me. What does that mean? Why would someone like you like someone like me? It's like crushing on a celebrity. You know they'll never like you but you don't mind admiring them from afar. Tsukishima gapes at him. That is the most moronic analogy I've ever heard. WH what? First of all, I'm not even close to a celebrity. We're best friends, Yamaguchi. Still. And besides. You're so much better than me. You're so, you. And I'm just me. What the hell Tsuki that's my line. Not anymore. You're not allowed to say that anymore. I. Then neither are you. Deal. Yamaguchi narrows his eyes at him. You did that on purpose. So I wouldn't say it. Guilty as charged. Haha. <laughs> so smart, Tsuki. So are you. Gosh you're so cringe. I'm what Yamaguchi, rude. Haha <laughs> it's okay I like it. It's weird but nice. Dot dot dot. I like you. Even the cringe parts. I I know that. And stop calling me cringy. What, am I hurting your pride? I'm not proud. You are possibly the most stubborn, proudful person I know but alright. Shut up. Do your homework. Yamaguchi laughs and turns back to his homework before he remembers something. Wait. That letter. Can I? No. What why not? It's for me. No. But I wanna read it. No. Saki please. No. Ugh. Whatever I'll find it later. I'll burn it before then. What no don't. Trust me it's bad. Dot dot dot. Yamaguchi pretends to go back to his homework, eyeing Tsukishima's math notebook lying a few feet away. Three, two, one. Aha. Yamaguchi snatches the notebook up and hurtles out of Tsukishima's room. Yamaguchi, what the hell? He darts into the bathroom and locks the door. Yamaguchi, let me in. Don't you dare read it. Too late. Yamaguchi flips around until he finds his name scrawled on the top of a page in Tsukishima's narrow script. He really did. Oh my god you actually. Why the hell would I lie about that? Yamaguchi. Open the door and give it up. Nah. I swear to god. To Tadashi. Don't read it out loud, Yamaguchi. Shut up Tsuki stop interrupting. Dot dot dot. Ahem. To Tadashi. I'm writing this down because it's getting harder and harder to stop myself from saying it to you. End. And that is the end. A bit of an open end, I know. I wanted you all to be able to imagine Tsukishima's letter. And like, if you want to write one, I would love to see it. Cough, cough. <laughs> but anyway, if you all really want it, though, I might write his letter just for funsies. Okay, let's check out the 10 of my favorite story pitch entries. <laughs> 